Hello there, I'm AJ Puzzle Forge and welcome back to Graveyard Keeper, where we are about to go and talk to Snake about that Necronomicon and the problem with getting into the later levels of the dungeon because we are only in um level what ten? No, we're in level yeah. We're in level ten and we can't get further. And today is the day that Snake arrives, so let's go talk to Snake and see what we can do. Hi, Snake. Right, now we can talk about the Necronomicon. Do you know anything about the... Yeah, let's talk about the Necronomicon first. Here's your book, Snake. I'm hardly surprised. You are a man of extraordinary talents, plus you're immortal. Life isn't fair. Give me the book. I just handed it over to you already. I'm sure of it. Whoa, the ritual is more complicated than I expected. Fear into the hearts, a fountain of blood, a convergence of sin. I'll never finish this ritual. It'll never get... I'll never get to see him. Who do you want to see? Don't give up. I also have a difficult task too. I know what you're going through. No, we've got a bigger task than him. In fact, he's going to make us do everything anyway. You just need to believe in yourself. Everything is in your hands. No, it's in my hands. He's going to make me do it. You're a dangerous and unscrupulous rogue. Who else could perform this ritual if not you? It's going to be me. You're right. I hate it when someone's right. Oh well. I tried. Help Snake with his ritual. But in this case, it seems I could use a little help. Again. A favour for a favour, you know. Right. So, do you know about uh, the key to level 12, uh, 11? That is forbidden knowledge. I don't think you're ready to hear all my secrets. Uh, yeah. It probably will be your final task to go deep into the dungeon. Ah, I was enjoying going through the dungeon. Fine. Okay, so let's talk about the ritual. How can I help with the ritual? I'd like to help you. I've got a feeling I'll need you to return the favour. Sounds reasonable to me. First of all, we need to prepare for the ritual. Okay. That's kind of what I was asking. We need this place looking as scary as my old orphanage. <laughs> oh, he even does a little shoulder shake. Okay. There should have my followers trembling in terror. But look who I'm talking to. <laughs> Up in your church, you've done some great decorating. No, I haven't. I've kind of completely left it. But this one should be darker. And without all the crosses. Crosses bring back bad memories for me. Okay. Oh, oh. One other thing. For the ritual, we'll need to have a fountain of blood. That's nice. Good. Better make two, just to be sure. Okay, I'll try. Back home, we have a whole holiday for scary things Halloween. I was good at these kind of decorations. I'll figure something out. Poor you. So we'll need this place to have twenty darkness. I'm guessing that is that could be that could be darkness. Okay. Lee, now I don't have anything to do. What's the, what's the business? What what business could we talk about? I was told that you could get me some illegal stuff for me. Sure. If you heard that I could do something, then I probably can. But. One good turn deserves another. Is that it? That's it. 
Okay, he has nothing else to say. Right, so I need to take skulls, really. Oh, look at all this. Yeah, it's it's practically all about the skulls, really. <laughs> okay. Well then, we need a lot of skulls for the bottom ones, but the blood fountain should be possible. Interestingly, it doesn't involve any blood, which is fascinating because we do have blood. So you would have thought that blood would have been it. If we decorate everything with blood fountains and crucified skeletons, then, uh, yeah. That shouldn't be so bad, but unfortunately I have no pumpkins whatsoever, so I shall have to buy some pumpkins. Either buy some pumpkins or, or make some. Hmm. I'm not particularly good at making pumpkins yet. I, I, I am working on things, but... I shall now explain what I've been working on. I have been working on our alchemy lab, and as you can see, down here, there are a lot of things on desks. In fact, what I've done is I've I have been reducing items. You go to these various stations, and you reduce items to their parts. So this this bit of honey turned into loads of acceleration powder and then I've been putting it carefully in these shells and all of the uh, all of the available items to do this are different and there's loads of them and you can get all sorts of things so like that will distill the hearts and turn it into um, what's it anyway I think I described some of this in the previous episode but I have been doing a heck of a lot of it as you can see now I really really I I like the alchemy but at the same time I don't like the alchemy at all because you get all of these ingredients and it takes you absolutely ages to reduce them down and then you get to this thing and it doesn't have this second tab with all of these instructions on it it just has it as it is uh, and it as it is basically is forcing you to make your own ideas on what's what so let's do one uh, it starts with one of these so let's have an electric power for, for curiosity's sake uh, and then let's have let's try life solution and say um, uh, slow extract maybe let's try that it's probably it's almost guaranteed to come out with goo because this is the problem that I face with alchemy yep goo Virch I mean there is only a few different recipes and you could there's so many combinations that you could spend absolutely forever going through the combinations and not come up with these which is why I cheated Yes, I went and I looked on the wiki and I found all of the combinations and I've written them down so that I can actually do the alchemy rather than spending forever mining ingredients followed by forever uh, trying to work out what's what. Didn't make sense to me, so I didn't do it. <laughs> As such, we can move on to the embalming. I haven't actually done any embalming yet. And I haven't got any of the fluids that I need for the embalming. So, what I have done is I've rearranged my morgue. I've got rid of the two pallets that were here and I think over there or somewhere. Uh, and I have replaced them with these frozen pallets. Uh, two here. Uh, the embalming table, which allows us to, em to muck around with bodies. I don't really know. Oh, hello. No. What I can do is that. How do you embalm things then? Hmm. Interesting. I shall have to look into that more. I don't know. Uh, and uh, otherwise, I've just been getting corpses ready. Now, that, well, that is actually ready for being sent to the graveyard. It is indeed. But the embalming allows you to remove um, red skulls from your corpses. Which, as you know, is exceptionally handy. I'm going to nick a skull because I want a skull for my various decorations that's not going to do my corpse any any good whatsoever however it was necessary 
I'm gonna have to learn how to do the embalming, I really am, because I want to... Hang on, can I do anything? Where do you do the embalming stuff? Hmm. There is a way. There is a place that I should be standing to make the embalming stuff. Oh, it might be this one. Yes? Is it? Yeah! So here, you make the embalming stuff. Now, what's that? That's glue, isn't it? So this liquid can be applied to a body on the embalming table to modify its characteristics. Doesn't tell you how. Uh, I'm sure it should have told me how. No, it doesn't tell you how. As usual, no information at all. This liquid can be applied to a body on the embalming table to modify its characteristics. Hmm. Yeah, so I'm going to have to make some of these at some point because I want to modify, I want to see what they, what effect they do have on the bodies so that I can muck around with them. Now, we, the, to make the um, energy elixir, you would have thought that you could have made the energy elixir on the um, alchemy workbench too, but you can't. You can only make it on alchemy workbench level one, so I'm going to have to build another alchemy workbench. So, we have embalming, which I haven't done yet because I haven't had the ability to do it yet. And we have the uh, alchemy stuff, which I I really, I'm not keen on the alchemy stuff. It needs, it needs better descriptions and, uh, and things going a little bit differently to how they are. I also need to make a, an absolute ton of... Um, glass pots because for the alchemy stuff glass pots right now i have a hundred points so what i'm going to do is i'm going to have a look at all of these interesting things and see what we can use what's this preparation place i'm sure we've got preparation places there's there's tons of interesting why would i make need to make things darker Silver injection. Does that get rid of those? Gold injection. Hmm. I feel like the embalming liquids 3 might actually be useful, but it costs 30. Let's have a look through the list and see if there's anything else that's... that's... Ah, now the faith stuff is probably important. Because I've not been able to make any of the interesting stuff that I want to make inside the church to make the church better. So... I think that the faith stuff could well be the thing that's that's very useful. In which case, the power of faith is the next one for us to get. The blueprint for the wooden church shrine and the confessional. Both of which I want. Softness of faith. That will give them comfy chairs. I think that comfy chairs is definitely something that I should be, uh, should be doing... Because why wouldn't you want comfy chairs? And the incense. I think that the incense is also involved in some of the other things. So, incense. Cremation 2. What does the cremation 2 do? Let's find out. Okay, we have lots of stuff now. And we can still do this. Price of faith. I don't know. Let's have a quick look around at other things, because there might be something else that I also need to do, like gardening or brewing, for example. Gardening might be handy. Mm, gardening. Yes, we're getting gardening. Oh, and brewing. Okay, we can get the both. Never mind. And then I'm all out of stuff to buy, I believe. I don't think I can get anything else. Oh, I can get steel tools. Yeah, I kind of want steel tools. I'm getting that too. I don't have any blue left, so I can't get anything else. Pity. <laughs> I kind of want the jewellery stuff, because I have a feeling that that will be good for, uh, for earning loads of cash. But now, we can go into the church and have a look what we need for the various church stuffs. Because I, I probably have the ability to get these. Uh, okay, I'm going to write these down, because otherwise I will never be able to work them out. Yeah, I'm going to start writing things down, so I shall see you when I've written stuff down. Be right back. Okay, so I can make uh, soft church benches, 
confessionals and incense burner. I think that the things that I'm going to be able to make the most easily are the confessional and the incense burner because they involve things that I've already got or know how to make at least. Whereas the um, the in, uh, no the soft church bench involves silk, and I have absolutely no idea how to get silk whatsoever. Now there is, a, of course, the other thing, which is the steel items. Ah, now the steel items are really easy to make, so that shouldn't be a problem. No, that shouldn't be a problem at all. I can make the steel items with, without any issue, because they just need complex um, iron parts. So, the first thing that I need to make the confessional is the planks. Have I got... Well, for starters, have I got planks already? Because I might have... Let's have a look. In my box of wood, I have 12 planks. And I need 8 planks, so that's that's done, that one. Now we need complex iron parts. I'm looking forward to seeing what the confessional looks like. We need 6 of these. So, can we do it? I should totally just tell it to do 6 rather than doing, like, 1 every time. Never mind. Here we go. So that's it. We should be able to make the confessional now. I might have a, a, a little brief rest before. I'm very curious what we'll be doing with the confessional. I wonder if you actually get to take confessions or what like. Because that would be fun. I don't like walking through the church at night. With the graveyard at night because I have a fear that at night strange things might happen in our in our pretty little graveyard. I suppose strange things could happen in the church as well. Just because we're here doesn't mean we're safe. Hang on, wait a minute. Why is the confessional? Oh, I need more of the planks. Okay, fair enough. I shall go back and I shall make some more planks, and then I'll see you here. Okay, we're 19 planks. I wrote it down wrong. I wrote it down as eight planks, but it's actually 16. Okay, with all of these planks, I can't possibly go wrong. Hang on. I may not be able to possibly go wrong, but I can't find a place that I can put the confessional. Why does it need that much? There's literally not enough space. Maybe the confessional is for when I've got a... Oh, wait a minute. No, it's not. It's for over here. Okay, so I need to move something out before I can move the confessional in. This, you, you can go, Candle. You are not... You are surplus to requirements. You can go, yes. Right. Let's get rid of the candle and then... Confessional. Because I want a confessional. Here we go. Confessional! Yeah. I can't believe there was no space. I could make one on the other side as well if I so wished. Isn't a confessional supposed to have space for two people? Hmm. Let's go build it. Does this improve my church anyway? Oh, it does improve my... By five! Now that's a lot of improvement, so maybe I should add one to the other side. Or maybe that's the space for the incense burner. It might be the space for the incense burner. What can I do with that thing? Can I go in there? Pray. There is no one to make a confession. Interesting. So at some point, there will be someone to make a confession. Okay, fair enough. Right, well that's taken us up to 19, that's pretty good. I only need like one more to be able to actually um, talk to the priest and have this, this place improved greatly. Wooden church shrine, isn't the wooden church shrine this thing over here? I think we've already got one of those. So I don't know why it would give us the option to make another one. Soft benches is definitely something that I want to make. The incense burner I can make. It's not going to be easy because I need to polish a lot of brick. But once I've polished a lot of brick, incense burner. In the meanwhile, I need to go to the lighthouse and buy myself some more blue points. Give me some blue points, trader. Hi. Thank you. Expensive, as always. <laughs> but I'm earning money quite well at the moment. I say that, I've only got 60-something, but that's not bad. Right, I'll get back. 
Right, so I'm back and I have one polished brick of stone, which is nowhere near the 12 that I'm going to need. So I'm going to need to make myself another chisel. I wonder if I can make an iron one, a steel one. I can make a steel one. Make steel chisel, please. One steel chisel on the way. There we go. Right, now we should be able to do some stonework with that. Oh, I need a little faith as well, don't I? Have I got some faith? Oh, I have. Good. Excellent. It's not the it's not the 12 faith I'm going to need, but it's it's a start. Oh, I don't need faith at all. Oh, well, if I don't need faith, I'll get straight to it. Where's my chisel gone? Do not tell me that one makes... I've got a chisel there. Why is it not using... Hmm, it suddenly decided that my chisel doesn't work. This makes no sense. Is this not allowed? Oh, it has to be a normal chisel. Ah, okay, fair enough. I'll make a normal chisel then. Right, now, equipped with a normal chisel. Picky. Let's make some more. <laughs> okay, so we now have the 12 uh, of those that we needed. And we need some simple iron parts. Bingo. Got them. Awesome. Let's head over to our church and make our incense burner. I hope it takes us over into the 20. Because if it takes us over to the 20, then we can talk to the uh, priest and, and get stuff done. Excellent. Now, where can we put the incense burner? We can put it anywhere. Hmm... Well, really, it would be nice if it was, like, over here. Because then then people could enjoy the incense burner. So I'm going to get rid of these useless candles that I never use. Because I can never afford to actually use them. And I shall stick an incense burner there, which is far more pleasant. It doesn't give you any light, but it's far more pleasant. <laughs> and in you go. Awesome. Let's go make it. I hope it doesn't, like, disappear after a certain amount of, of incense burning. Oh, rats! It only gives us one, just like the candle did. And you have to stick something in it. Ah, that is very ineffective. It is no different from the candle. Okay. Well, in that case, I'm going to get rid of another candle place because there's space for two confessionals and we know that confessionals give you five so if confessionals give you five then I should be able to get myself well over the 20 that I need by building another confessional so I will be very cheekily making confessionals and fixing my issues I'm gonna make another confessional oh my energy's draining away fast he's got tired but you only need to sleep for like an hour to get rid of the I'm tired statistic. <laughs> I need to hurry though because I have to I have to do the ceremony as well. Run, run, run. Come on, you can make it. Two more, I think. That I should have everything so I can put my confessional in and then I can do my ceremony. And then I can talk to the priest. If I run... I wish I was faster. It's a shame you can't take those energy elixirs and just be faster. Maybe you can, I don't know. I've not actually checked that. <laughs> Quick, get that confessional in. Yes, over here. And... Ta-da! Our church will be better as soon as I do this. Got it. Okay, now let's get doing the ceremony. Quick! Hurry, 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 hurry. I don't want to be late. There. I wonder what sort of amount of faith this is going to give us. I'd like to say a few words. This is a awesome church. There's one extra person. There's not enough chairs. Oh, wow. That was a lot of faith. A heck of a lot of faith. Usually it gives me like two and then the three from this. One, two. Oh, right. Give me cash! Give me cash! Hand over a whoa, there's a lot of people here today. And they're giving me less. 
as usual, more people means less from each. And they're still giving me about the same amount. So now we've got 23 in our church. Does this mean that we're okay? No, we need 50. 50? How the heck am I going to get 50? So about the cathedral. Oh, no, I need the three statues for that. Ah, bother. Okay, I'm going to have to get clever with this uh, with this church business. Unfortunately, I'm all out of time, so I'd like to get clever with the church business in the next episode. In the meanwhile, you take care. Thanks for watching. Feel free to watch other things on my channel. Feel free to subscribe if you haven't already. Catch you next time. Bye for now.